Hello, this is Maker J101. Thank you all so much for subscribing and everything. 5,000 subscribers. It's awesome. Sorry, I have a bit of a cold. My throat's kind of sore and I, my voice, I lost my voice. But, um, yeah, I've had a cold for like four weeks now. It's awful. But I'm almost over with it, so that's good. But, um, thank you all so much for subscribing. It's awesome. I never thought I'd come this far with my channel. Um, and I couldn't have without you guys' help, so. Thank you all so much. Um, but I'll show you some of the things I've been working on lately. Um, this is actually a a frequency counter, but it uses binary. So I'll actually explain that more in another video when I can actually talk. But um, it basically uses binary counters and the latch um, to so it it counts. This is the frequency generator right here, and it counts that on here, and then every one second using this little clock it records the value on here and displays it on these LEDs so right now it's displaying 1, 2, uh, 4, 8, 16, 30, 33 hertz and if I change the frequency a little bit now it's different frequency so that right there, so you can see it's not blinking very much it's only takes about two seconds to update. It's only one hertz, I guess. Oh, signal died. But, yeah, so that'd be four hertz. It works pretty good, though, actually. Um, it's taking me a lot of work. It kind of looks like a bad hair day right now. But, so that's, that's something I've been working on lately. I have a lot of projects I've been working on, but I haven't really made a video just because I can't talk about them. Um, I've actually got my, uh, pump for my steam engine taken apart here because that needs fixed. I've got, oh, I've got everything. This power supply is broken, so I was working on fixing that. This diode here always blows, so I was working on that. Um, and I was actually trying to figure out, because I actually want to make this into a, um, like an actual project. So it's actually a frequency counter or, um, a tachometer so I can measure the RPM of my steam engine and then calculate the power. But I've got a lot of stuff. I was actually soldering some uh, components off circuit boards and um, stuff like that. So yeah, that's about it. I'll try to keep this short. So thank you all for 5,000 subscribers. Thank you so much. That's about it, guys. Thanks for watching.